Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Last time we spoke about thunderstorms. Well, this time we're going to talk about a very dangerous combination of wind and power, also known as a tornado. It is a very interesting weather phenomenon, but very, very dangerous. So let's get right into it. We'll start out with what is a tornado? A tornado is a violent rotating column of air extending from a thunderstorm down to the ground. And you can see it right there in that photo. High wind speeds of a tornado can knock down trees, they can toss cars, and they can provide some very devastating damage to homes and even big structural buildings. About 1,000 tornadoes happen in the United States every year, especially in spring heading into summer. And right now we are in the spring season. So how does a tornado form? Well, it's very complicated and meteorologists and scientists are still trying to figure out exactly how and why, but we have a pretty good idea. So we know that uh, tornadoes form from big thunderstorms. We need warm, moist air clashing with colder, dry air to bring us the instability. We also need a change in wind speed and direction through different levels of the atmosphere. So let's figure down the surface. We have light winds. As you go higher up into the sky, the winds get stronger and they change direction. And that's what creates that rotation or that swirl. So once we have a rotating column of air, that gets pulled up into a thunderstorm updraft. And the updraft of the th thunderstorm here tightens the spin and the speed of this rotating column of air. So if you picture if you're a figure skater and you bring in your arms to spin like this, you'll start to spin faster and tighter. So it's kind of like that. All right, a funnel cloud. Well, once we get a thunderstorm, a strong thunderstorm to develop, and once we start to see that rotation, You'll notice a funnel cloud right here, but you'll notice it's not reaching the ground just yet. Once that funnel cloud continues to develop and touches the ground, bam, that's when it becomes a tornado. So some tornado facts for you. A supercell is a long lived thunderstorm. It's a very, very strong thunderstorm. And that is the type of thunderstorm that is most likely to produce tornadoes, not only a weak tornado, but maybe a very big and violent tornado. Tornadoes, they can happen any time of the year, really, and also any time of the day. And actually, the most dangerous tornadoes are the ones that happen at night when it's dark and you might be sleeping so you don't know that it's coming, or it's dark and you just can't even see the storm headed your way. Most often, they form during spring in Tornado Alley in the middle of the United States, and their damage paths can be over one mile wide and 50 miles long. So that can definitely bring um, some devastating damage. All right, here's a look at your tornado wind scale. And a weak tornado typically has winds up to 110 miles per hour, which is actually not weak at all, but weak as compared to how strong a tornado can get. Now, these weak tornadoes are the ones that we typically see. They don't last for too long, maybe just a couple of minutes, and they would provide damage such as maybe some tree limbs down, a little bit of damage to a roof on your home. Strong tornadoes can have winds up to 165 miles per hour, so those would bring a lot more damage, tossing cars, more damage to maybe some, some unstable homes. And then violent tornadoes. Winds can be 200 miles per hour or even more. Some of the strongest tornadoes on Earth can have winds up to 300 miles per hour, and that just brings complete devastation. It levels homes, it can level entire towns, and also cities, some big, big buildings. So uh, thankfully we don't see that too often, but it definitely can happen. Okay, so we have thunder um, tornadoes, but we also have other rotating columns of air that happen that are not as strong and not as dangerous. A land spout can happen with just a regular weaker thunderstorm, and that would be similar to a weak tornado, maybe winds getting up to about 70 miles per hour. They usually don't last too long. As you can see, the sky is not too stormy here. We have dust devils. Now, these can happen in the desert. I actually saw one once when I went to Arizona, and it was kind of cool. It was just short-lived. That happens from just the hot, dry air in the um, desert, and it causes the air to swirl. It picks up all the dust with it. A water spout. Now, do you see this photo? This is off of Fire Island, off of Long Island here. This happened last year, and you can see that's a tornado over water. It's similar to a land spout, meaning that they typically don't get as strong as the land tornadoes that we see. And this is really interesting. That's a fire nado. So if you have a lot of heat with brush fires, it can actually create this hot vortex of air that looks like a tornado made out of fire. 
So I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. Next time we're going to talk about a very powerful tropical storm known as hurricanes.